Hey everybody, it is hot in Austin and I am not talking about the real estate market right now. I'm talking about the heat. And I did a video last week about some of the things basically I wish I knew before moving to Leander, Texas. And, and I talked about the weather a little bit, but it is hot in 2022. Today is August the 19th and the last 32 of 33 days, it has been 100 degrees or more. And in fact, April through July of this year was the hottest summer months ever, uh, going back into the 1800s when they started keeping records of temperatures here in the Austin area. So if you're planning on moving or relocating to Austin, Texas, you need to know that it gets hot here during the summertime and i want to talk to you a little bit about the weather so that you'll know what to expect whenever you move here and let me say hey everybody i'm dan forbes broker at forbes realty here in leander texas one of the suburbs of austin just on the north side of austin and if you want to know everything there is to know about living here and working here and playing here you've come to the right place I get calls and texts and reach outs uh, to me almost every single day from people that are moving here or relocating here. And I've helped hundreds of people make a move here to Texas. And if I can help you, I'd love to do that. But I wanna to talk to you about what to expect whenever you arrive, if you're arriving in the summertime and you're going to be living here. So let's get into today's video right now. So as I said a moment ago, 32 of the last 33 days, our temperatures here in Austin have been 100 degrees or higher. And so let me acquaint you with the, uh, with the climate of the Austin area. And I was reading an article from KXAN.com, one of our local news channels. And I want to share with you some of the charts and some of the information so that you'll know what to expect. Uh, when you are living here in the Austin area. So this first chart shows the number of days that the temperatures have been 100 plus degrees since they started keeping records. So take a look at that right now. So Camp Mabry in Austin is the official reporting site of these temperatures and they have records dating back to 1898. And this chart shows you how many days temperatures reached 100 degrees or more since that time. And in fact, Austin reached 100 degrees or more a total of 1,881 times. And the average for any given year from 1898 to 2021 is about 15 triple digit days every year. So you can see it gets hot here in the summertime. It gets over 100 degrees. I guess the highest that I've seen since I moved here in 2014 was 112 degrees. But this summer I've seen 104, 105, 107 degrees, it seems like many times. So how many days does it reach 100 degrees or more per decade and is there a trend? We'll take a look at this chart right now. So you can see this chart shows you how many days per decade our temperatures here in Austin have reached 100 degrees or more. Going back to the 1900s, there was only 35 days. The 1920s, there was a spike to 215 days. It dropped down again in the 1970s to only 30 days in that whole 10 year period that our temperatures reached 100 degrees or more. But look what's happened in the last two or three years. In the 2000s, we had 273 days, 100 degrees or more. In the 2010s, we had 409 days of 100 degrees or more. And so far in 2022, we've had 127 days where it has been 100 degrees or more. And you know, this decade is just getting started. So it looks like it's been hotter in the last 20 years than it has been previously. Is that global warming? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it certainly has been hot. And there's a reason it's been hot for the last three years. Uh, but I'll get to that in just a moment. So if you're moving here right now, you can expect to experience heat waves uh, like we are experiencing now. So you might be interested in knowing which months are the hottest here. And I guess because we're in the Northern Hemisphere, 
you know, it's going to be pretty much the same whether you live in New York or whether you live in California or whether you live in Texas. But I don't know, maybe states uh, are uh, different regarding that. But you expect that the summertime months are the hottest months. So take a look at this chart that shows you which months here in Texas are the hottest and which of those, uh, you know, does it get over 100 degrees or more. So you can see on this chart, dating back to 1898, July and August were the two hottest months. August, we've had 886 days over that period of time that has been 100 degrees or more, and July, 628 days. So the hottest months here is August, followed by July. So, you know, what happens as a result of that? Well, you know, most of us stay indoors more often than not. We crank up the air conditioning and sometimes, uh, you know, Texas power grid struggles a bit and we're asked to actually turn our thermostats a little bit warmer. Uh, most of us really don't like doing that, but August and July, those are the hot months. Once we get through that, things get a whole lot better. When does the heat peak? and when does it break so if you take a look at this chart the the dotted line on the left shows you the average first day of the year for 100 degree plus temperatures and it is the beginning of july and then the dotted line on the right shows you the average last day of 100 degree temperatures and it is the beginning of september so pretty much july and august have the most days that temperatures reach 100 degrees or more, and it peaks right about now. It peaks around the 10th of August, and this is the 19th of August, and you'll notice that from the peak, you know, the temperatures begin to drop, and especially September is a much nicer month, and then October is our perfect fall month, and then preceding that early spring, April is our perfect spring month, for temperatures that we love. One of the things that we like to do uh, when it gets hot here in Austin is we like to make fun of the weather. So I went to the web and pulled up a couple of memes here that I thought was interesting. So here's one of a melted ice cream truck. It gets so hot here that not only does the ice cream melt, but the trucks melt as well. Here's another. So this one says, I'm not saying it's hot in Texas, but two hobbits just threw a ring in my backyard. Of course, you have to be a fan of the Lord of Rings to get that one. Here's another. What you're looking at here is a picture of the new Texas ring gauge. It happens to be a bottle cap. And one more, and it's my favorite. So this one shows you the positioning of the sun and the earth and Texas. So it gets hotter here in Texas, I guess, because Texas is closer to the sun. So I hope that you've enjoyed this information about the weather here in Texas. And if you're planning on moving or relocating here, you know, that's one of the things that you'll want to know. I mean, if you're uh, the kind of person that just can't stand it, you know, when the weather gets hot, uh, even if you're in air conditioning, then moving to Central Texas may not be best for you. But if you love a place that has seasons, we have a spring, we have a summer, we have a fall, we have a winter, Yes, it gets hot. Yes, it gets cold. But most of the time, we love the weather here in Texas. So if you are at all thinking about moving to North Austin, that includes Cedar Park, Liberty Hill, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, Leander, you know, I hope that you'll look around the videos on my channel and then do something. Look down in the description below and you'll see how that you can call me, text me, send me an email or heck, I don't care, send me a carrier pigeon and always remember I've got your back. Right now you're seeing some other videos pop up from my channel, so I encourage you to take a look at those and then when you're ready, give me a call.